Equator is a very powerful soft synth, and while you're using it in a session, you might run into CPU issues. This is partly because it processes on multiple channels and processes several sources of constant modulation on each of them. My brain hurts just saying that sentence, so you can imagine how your computer feels. Luckily, there are a few things we can do to alleviate the stress and strain. The first thing I would do is bounce any available tracks so that my computer can concentrate on the smallest number of tasks. This goes for any audio tracks which have any effects inserted onto them, MIDI tracks with any active device running or inserted onto it. If you can go momentarily without having editing capabilities of certain tracks, bounce them to audio, then turn off any virtual instruments. Many DAWs have a freeze functionality, which is also a good option. But before you do a ton of bouncing, I suggest doing a save as of your session. So you can always go back to a previous version. By bouncing and freezing tracks, we free up additional CPU, which will make Equator run more smoothly. Once you're done working in Equator, I would bounce that track as well, and then go in and turn the virtual instrument off for the moment. This becomes especially important when you have multiple instances of Equator running in a single session. You can always go back and unfreeze a track or return to the virtual instrument and turn it back on. And that will let you carry on from where you left off. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on your sampling rate and buffer speed. Once you've chosen a sampling rate for your session, you're gonna to wanna to stick with it. But the higher the sampling rate, the higher fidelity of audio you're working with, and the harder your processor has to work in order to play it back. Depending on what it is you're doing, let's just say you're messing around, you might wanna go with 44.1K. Whereas if you're working on a film score, you might wanna go with 96K. The buffer speed, you may have to adjust mid-session, if you're experiencing glitches while recording or playback, raising the buffer will take some of the stress off of your machine, but you may also experience latency. Latency during playback is not such a big deal, but latency while tracking is. So you have to balance the scales as you move through the compositional process. If you're done recording and sequencing and you're now editing, raise the buffer size. If you're recording, lower it to where you reduce latency but aren't hearing any digital distortion. There is also the option to disable the animation inside of Equator, and that will also free up space, but you'll lose the visualization and editing capabilities until you turn it back on. You can do that by going to the menu at the top right hand corner and selecting Disable Animation from the drop down menu. Any mappings and modulation will stay in place, you just don't have access to them until you enable the animation from the same menu. So here we see nothing's really happening inside of Equator, and if I re enable the automation, back in business.